Here we are again, Duck Talk. Week uh, week four, right? No, week, week five. five. Week five. And we got the big game against Stanford. Game day's coming into town. Game day's coming back to Eugene. So, first of all, a few things to mention. Oregon has not lost at Austin Stadium since 2008 against Boise State, where we lost 37-32. to 32. Also, we have not been scored on at Austin Stadium this year yet. Although we have played two weak teams, Portland State and Mexico, we've still uh, been able to hold shutouts, and we had zero shutouts the past two or three years. But also, Stanford beat us last year, so lots to worry about. Last week, we played Arizona State in Tempe, and we looked not like the number four team in the nation. Don't you think? Uh, I don't think we, we didn't play to our full potential, that's definitely for sure. Yeah, um, our defense was um, unable to stop the running backs and the quarterback. The only thing that we were able to do was create turnovers, and we got seven turnovers, which helped us. And without those, we probably would have lost the game. Our offense only had 400 yards, which is quite funny because that's a lot, but not enough for our offense. We average about... 590 to 600 yards of offense per game, even though it is against Portland State and Tennessee and uh, what else? Mexico. Mexico, which are very low tier teams. But we shall revenge this year and get Stanford. One. We, uh, we did have trouble with them last year. I mean, we yes. ran all over their on their defense. Yeah. They were punishing defense, but our defense was not allowed to stop them. It was a shootout, and Toby Gearhart ran all over us with the big physical back that he is. Yeah, we uh, we scored 42 on them last year, and we still lost uh, because they scored 51, which is ridiculous. Which is saying something. But points. the thing is, there's a lot there's a lot different this year. First of all. Last year, we came off of a big win, and Oregon tends to win the really big games and then play flat the next game. So we just played a team, Arizona State, where we looked bad, and so I think that the coaches are going to look at a lot of things we did wrong, and they're definitely going to make the defense better and figure out what we did wrong. And also our line is going to block better for the Michael James and Kenyon Barner. Also, last year it was at Stanford. This year it's at Oregon. It's a big difference. A lot of people say that home 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 field advantage isn't as much as people say it is, but at Austin Stadium, it definitely makes a big difference. Yeah, our defense um, plays extremely well, more so than it than away at home. Um, we are very good at defense when we're at home. Um, we usually stop teams. The crowd usually helps us. I mean, we're not a very big defense, but we're a very fast defense. And I think if we can stop those committee of backs that they have at Stanford that are very physical, um, I think we could do some damage in the offensive line. And also, last year, one of the big reasons we lost to Stanford was Toby Gearhart. Now, I know Stanford fans are saying, we didn't, we didn't miss a beat now that Gearhart's gone. But you've yet to play the big teams where you needed Gearhart to win, like Oregon, for instance. You guys have played uh, some decent teams. You beat UCLA, who is looking like they're a decent team. You beat Notre Dame. But still, neither of those teams were expected to do well this year. And like, you're kind of like us, where you haven't really played that great of a team. So this is the first time either of us will play a top 10 team. And you're without Gearhart. I believe that we are going to stop your defense, and we're, you guys are going to focus more on Andrew Luck's passing. We're fairly good at passing, uh, pass defense. However, against Arizona State, we didn't look good down the middle of the field. But obviously, we're going to work on some things when we prepare for Stanford. Yeah. Um, Stanford's Andrew Luck is one of the better quarterbacks in the country. He may be the best, if you really want to say that, but last year he really developed in front of our eyes and beat us in the passing game last year. We weren't able to stop either him or Gearhart. 
The thing that we have this year is they're going to be depending more on Andrew Luck, which we can pressure him, and we are more of a pressure defense than a stopping defense. We more we tend to bend rather than break, or I mean, we're a very fast defense, so that's what we tend to dwell on. So this is how Oregon's going to win the game. First off, we're at home. We don't compete at Odson. We haven't been beat since Boise State. We don't plan on getting beat anytime soon at home. Second is, our offense is going to look a lot better. Even though we did score 42 points against Arizona State, we still looked really flat, and our defense scored two of those touchdowns. That's one thing you got to worry about. Even though our defense isn't big, we create turnovers, and especially interceptions. I think we had, what, four interceptions against Arizona State? Yes. So I... I definitely predict that Andrew Luck throws at least one interception in this game, even though he is a very good quarterback. Yeah, we find those lanes and we shut them out. And I think against Stanford, they are <clears throat> able to do some damage against us, but we were able to bend and not break and come back and use our offense to be doing way better than we did against Arizona State because you have to think about it. Arizona State probably, as they did last year, had the best run defense in the Pac-10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they almost beat us. They almost beat Wisconsin. Arizona State's not as weak as you think they are. They, they can stop the run pretty well. And um, against Stanford, we're going to have our um, we're gonna have our work cut out for us. Um, Stanford's a good team, but we're at Austin, and we're going to be pumped up. We're going to be loud. You better believe. That. So, uh, for this game, what are you predicting score-wise? I'm, I'm predicting 41-31 Oregon. I think it's going to be a close game down the wire, but I think we get a 10-point lead and win with the 10-point lead, 41-31. Yeah, I was going to say about like 48-38, 45-45, somewhere around in there. About a 10-point win for Oregon. Yeah, I, it could be closer, but I think the home crowd is going to help significantly. We're going to be <clears> pretty confident coming out. And there, sh there could be a blackout. So watch out, Stanford fans. In third quarter, you better be ready because our, that's the quarter we're the best at, and that's when we usually start beating teams. So you better be ready, Stanford. This, this game is really going to prove uh, how good of a team both teams are. So I'm excited. All right. Go Ducks. Signing off.